Greetings, citizens of Nerdtropolis. Sean Todd here, the mayor of Nerdtropolis, and on this episode of Real Insights, my guest is Carolyn Lawrence, the voice of Sandy Cheeks, who stars in her own film, Saving Bikini Bottom. Howdy, Carolyn! Howdy, Sean! <laughs> it's great to finally meet you, and greetings from Nerdtropolis out here in good old Houston, Texas, where Galveston is just a stone throws away. So great to meet you. Oh my goodness, great to meet you. Yeehaw! <laughs> I love that. I'm an OG a SpongeBob fan. I was just 10 years old when it premiered. And as soon as Sandy Cheeks was, you know, introduced as a Texan, big fan of hers. She makes all us Texans proud. And she is currently visiting me right now. She is out here. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how cute that is. That's amazing. Hi, love Sandy. It. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So Texas is famous for its big personality and even bigger hearts. Uh, how do you think Sandy embodies that Texas spirit? Um, probably that she uh she's not gonna take no for an answer, and she's just gonna keep going, and uh, a lot of tenacity, a lot of um, yeah, big feelings and big aspirations, and she's no no fear, gonna do what she needs to do. Yeah, she's actually a really good role model, to be honest. Uh, I, I love seeing that in the show and in this film and everything else she appears in. Uh, Sandy has a tough, no-nonsense attitude. How do you think you channel that Texas toughness uh, when you're voicing her? I think um, in a lot of ways, her and I are very similar. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I definitely was somebody who wasn't going to take the no for an answer. I definitely am that person that when they say something like, oh, Carolyn, I don't think you'll be able to do that. I'm like, just watch me. So um, we're we're very similar that way. Yeah. I love that. I mean, you are Sandy. When I talk to you, I see Sandy. I hear Sandy. Uh, you have taken the Sandy mantle. I saw your OG Sandy necklace, you know, uh, which is so cool to see when you're at the Kids' Choice Awards. Uh, Sandy you. often brings a taste of Texas to Bikini Bottom. If she could host a Texas-themed party, what would it be? What would be on the menu and what activities would she plan? Oh, goodness. I think we'd have some pecan pie. I think we'd have some good old Texas barbecue. Uh, corn on the cob because I like it. Um, games. Let's see. Cornhole. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> uh, horseshoes. Uh, who contained the rattlesnake? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to you that Sandy finally gets her own feature film? I feel like it's a long time making. There's going to be more of them for sure. But how does this film, how special is this film for you? It's really, you know, it, it's hard to put into words because in a way, it's so big that I can't even think about it too much. I don't know if that makes sense. Like if I think about it too much, it's completely overwhelming because I can't believe it even happened. And I think it'll hit me like later in life. I will be like, wow, look at that. She had her own movie. I don't know. It, it, it feels very surreal. And um, I'm really excited though. I'm really excited for the fans to see her step out and to see more about her family and to go on the adventure. And uh, I just really hope that people like it. Yeah, everyone's going to love it. All generations are going to love it, regardless of when they got introduced to SpongeBob and Sandy. Excited to see what else Sandy gets into, and I'm excited to talk to you next time. Yes, looking forward <laughs> to it. Once again, this is Sean Taj, the mayor of Nerdropolis, and stay tuned for more movie news, reviews, interviews, and trailers. <laughs>